Most people in America are looking for, how do I make a life worth living and retirement worth having? And if we don't, what happens to us? Well, sometimes we have family members that support us and help us to try to make it through our transitions in life. When we leave someone who's important or lose someone that's important in our life. And when we lose someone important in our life, then we feel that loss. We feel that strife. We feel that struggle. We feel that pain. We might even feel forlorn. Have you ever lost someone that you've loved so much that you felt forlorn? Do you know what feeling forlorn is or are you so accustomed to having people in your life regardless of whether or not they're intimate partners or family people or anyone of a community oriented group that makes you feel good enough to live life? Other people presume that you're not well, that you're suicidal or something like this and that's not true because we have rights and our rights are our own. And when we don't feel well, we can go off and find someone to talk to. We can find a pastor. We can find a pagan priest like me. We can find a Catholic. We can find a Lutheran. We can find a Protestant. We can just find a neighbor who's kind to us. Or we might find somebody from college who once was our friend. But the truth is, in life, we also have this online concept of social media. Social media is one of those things that can level the playing field for many companies, many small independent small independent business professionals and openly any person headed into a career. What you do out on your Facebook page, what you do out on your Twitter pages, what you do out on your YouTube videos, what you do out on Vimeo, what you do out on any of these new things like Snapchat and whatnot, openly Instagram, it makes it on you. You see, what you're doing is you're celebrating your life, talking about other people's lives, and maybe providing a quote or two that came from someone else. Hopefully, you're citing the sources to be loving and kind and arranging yourself to honor copyright law. But in life, as in our world, we have to know what is and isn't real. What is real is what people feel and what they experience and what they deal with on a day-to-day -day basis. What isn't real is an opinion from someone who's never in our life, never anywhere near close to being our wife, and openly isn't real. The liars of America like to pretend they own someone. The liars of America want to pay for your sins, or my sins, or their sins, and most likely their sins. They want to drive up and pay you money to do something to you, and that's a form of financial abuse to you. Financial abuse is when someone tries to give you money and pretend that they got rights to you. Financial abuse is when someone pays you money and tells you you owe them something that you didn't ask for, you didn't depend upon, and you didn't want to give forward in any way.